the holidays approaching, a lot of us are going to be traveling to see friends and family and go on vacation. And this sometimes involves going through airport security with our diabetes supplies which I know can be pretty nerve-wracking. You guys might have seen in my last video that I was nervous before going through airport security. I actually travel quite a few times a year for school and for fun as well, so I go through airport security all the time, but still I end up getting a bit nervous right before I go through. So today I just wanted to share some basic advice for going through airport security with diabetes supplies and how to make that experience smooth and easy for you when you're traveling. So the first thing I wanna talk about is what what to say when you get up to security. There are two ways to approach this. You can either be completely transparent and just flat out be like, hey guys, I have medical supplies in here, or you can just not say anything. So the first way is when you get up to the front of the line, you say to the TSA agent, oh hey, I'm traveling with type 1 diabetes, so I have medical supplies in my bag, so you might see that in my bag as it goes through the x-ray scanner. And this is fine, you can do this, there's nothing wrong with it. I did it for years, but I found that the security agents started looking at me like, okay, good for you, like, wh why do we care? They didn't really seem to care that I said that, so then I just stopped. So I usually go up and I don't say anything, I just put my bag through the scanner. They don't say anything about my supplies, to be honest, like, no one's ever said anything. People with diabetes travel so much that these security agents are used to seeing things like, syringes and insulin, test strips, stuff like that, and it doesn't set off a red flag on their system. But if it makes you feel more comfortable to flat out tell the person that you're carrying medical supplies, go for it. Sorry guys, my phone just rang in the middle of filming, so excuse like if the setup is different, I had to answer my phone, and I film with my phone. Okay, so my next tip is to be prepared. And by this, I mean have travel letters with you. So I have a letter from my nurse and my doctor, and these letters pretty much say that I am a type 1 diabetic, I need to have these medical supplies on me, and they actually specify what types of medical supplies I have. So it says that I will be carrying things like insulin vials, syringes, insulin pens. It says I wear an insulin pump and it says that I wear a CGM. So it just kind of gives a list of what I need. In reality, you will never ever have to use these because most people that work at airport security have seen insulin pumps and CGMs but I did actually have to use this letter once and I'm so, so glad I had it. I was in a country in which they did not have continuous glucose monitors. I was wearing my Dexcom on my arm and the airport security person kind of spotted it and they didn't know what it was. I luckily had my letter from my nurse that said I was wearing a glucose monitor and kind of explained what it was. And luckily someone at the airport spoke English as well to be able to read this letter, which leads to my next tip. If you're traveling in a country in which they do not speak English, have your letter translated, even just like, your basic letter that says you have type 1 diabetes and you're traveling with medical supplies, get someone to translate it for you or do it yourself using Google Translate because that can also come in handy. Now for the big question, scanners. What scanners can your devices go through? And there's so much controversy on this topic. And I honestly still do not know the right answer. I'm just going to give you guys the facts here and then you can make the decision on your own for what kind of scanners you feel comfortable going through. The walkthrough metal scanner Scanner, which is just like the arch that you walk through is 100% fine for anything You can go through that with anything on and your devices will be fine The real question is the full body scanner and this is the one that you step into and you put your hands up and it kind of like goes around so all pump and continuous glucose monitor companies say 100% no do not go through the full body scanner you're supposed to request a pat down and a visual inspection of your pump and your CGM instead of going through the scanner. And this can be more of a hassle doing this and it takes longer going through security, but they still recommend that you do this. So this is what I always did for years and years, but as I started traveling more, I started noticing that some type one diabetics were going through the full body scanner with their pump on. So I thought, what are they doing? Are they crazy? I asked about it a bit more and I talked to both my endocrinologist and my nurse about it and both my endocrinologist and nurse said that it's okay to go through the full body scanner. So I was so confused because I have my healthcare professional saying it's fine to go through. I have the pump company saying that definitely do not go through. 
And also I noticed more and more that the TSA agents were becoming more pushy. So once I was almost physically pushed into the full body scanner and they would say things to me like, it's okay, I see hundreds of diabetics go through the full body scanner every day, nothing's ever happened, it's completely safe, you're fine. So I decided that I should do a bit of my own research and look into what a full body scanner actually is. They use millimeter wavelengths to detect any foreign object on your body and a millimeter wavelength is classified as a radio wave. So technically, a radio wave should not interfere with the electronics in your insulin pump or your continuous glucose monitor. However, there have been a limited number of reported cases of pump malfunction following a full body scan. So this is why I think the pump companies and continuous glucose monitor companies are really cautious um, with full body scanners. So going through the full body scanner is the choice you have to make for yourself. Talk to your doctor, talk to your pump company, do your own research like I did. I know a lot of people that go through the full body scanner every time they travel and they've never had any issues. I've gone through the full body scanner quite a few times as well, I have to say. Um, just because I wanted to make the situation at security easier and I haven't had any issues either But honestly, I would recommend if you can getting the full body pat down and visual inspection Instead of going through the scanner because it just gives you a lot of peace of mind as you're traveling Knowing that there's no potential harm to your medical supplies Overall, just try not to be pressured by the TSA agents because they will pressure you to go through the full body scanner But if you don't feel comfortable with it, then don't do it because it's your right. My last tip is for carrying low supplies in the airport because you know that you can't go through airport security with liquids anymore. So instead of taking juice, I usually bring um, glucose tablets with me or some candy through airport security because it is a solid and then once you get through security I go into like a little store and I buy a juice to carry with me on the plane so that I have that as well. I hope that these help you guys out and make your trip smoother. Just remember that you really don't have anything to hide. We are allowed to travel with these medical supplies. Thanks for watching guys and let me know what your tips are for going through airport security. I'd love to hear it so comment down below what you do to make your experience easier. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.